it takes courage to be happy. Ecclesiastes 3.12 says, I know that there is nothing better for people than to be happy and to do good while they're living. Psalm 68.3 says, But may the righteous be glad and rejoice before God. May they be happy and joyful. Nehemiah 8.10 says, For the joy of the Lord is your strength. As we read these scriptures, we find out that it is the plan of God and the purpose of God for us to be happy and full of joy as people who are Christians, who are born again, who are saved, who are in Christ. But how many of you have been around the church long enough to know that there are certain people in the body of Christ, that there's an element in the body of Christ that doesn't realize yet that the joy of the Lord is their inheritance in God. There are certain people who have not notified their face that their heart has been born again yet. There, there are certain people who don't have joy emanating from them. They have anything but joy emanating on the inside of them. How many of you know that to be true? We're not talking about the person sitting next to you right now or anything like that. We're just making generalities right now. Certain people don't realize that joy is theirs. And, and part of the reason why we struggle with joy is because we base our joy on our circumstances, don't we? Amen. We say things like, well, I've just met this amazing guy and, and he's, he's made me so happy. I just made this beautiful girl. She's everything that I've ever wanted and, and I'm so happy. I just got a raise at work. I'm so happy. I just moved into a new home. I'm just so happy. I just lost 20 pounds. I'm just so happy. We base our happiness on our circumstances, don't we? And that's why it takes courage to be happy because it takes courage to look your circumstances in the face and say, you know what? I am not going to allow you to steal my joy. I'm not going to allow you to get the best of me. I'm going to be happy and full of joy anyway. I know what the recipe is. I've learned how to be content when I have little and when I have much. I've learned how to be content when I've got nothing and when I've got everything. When I'm broke and when I'm rich. I've learned the recipe. 